One of the easiest ways to begin a GarageBand song is to use Apple Loops. To open up the Loop Browser, click the eyeball looking icon in the lower right hand corner of the GarageBand screen. Here you can select your loops by category. I'm going to click all drums and then I'm going to click the uh, subcategory beats. So now all I'm seeing are loops that are composed completely of drums and are beats. I'm going to take the top one and drag it into the GarageBand window. The track is automatically created and if I double click on this particular track, it brings up the piano roll and score. So here, this is a, a MIDI instrument, a virtual instrument. I'm going to close down the track editor. And if I put my cursor over the upper right hand corner of the region here, I get a loop icon and I can drag and loop this Apple loop. I'm going to loop it two more times. And then for the uh, fourth loop, I'm going to take a different loop. And this loop happens to not be a virtual instrument. A new track is created, but it's a real instrument. This is an actual audio file and not just a uh, MIDI file. So if you double click on it, the audio editor opens up and you see actual waveforms. I'm going to hide the editor one more time. And now I'm going to zoom out by using the slider. I'm going to hide the loop browser by again clicking on the eyeball icon. Now the Apple Loops default to follow the project tempo. So if we click in the LED and select the project, we can use the tempo slider to increase or decrease the tempo of the Apple Loops. Here's our loop at 145. So you can really change the feel of a song just by using the tempo slider and finding the right tempo. Another nice thing about GarageBand 09 is that it keeps all of our loops that are in the same family organized and it lets you change the loop at any point. So here I have the club dance beat and I'm going to change it to the 06 or maybe the 09 beat. If you open up the loop browser again, GarageBand can give you some hints as to which variation of the club beat or whatever loop you're working with might sound best at the tempo you've chosen. You can see that they're listed at the tempo that the beat was actually recorded at. Once you've decided on your beat and have your song built up, don't forget to visit wellmix.com for all your mixing and mastering needs.